This is a brief video tutorial on how to use Google Drive. First thing you need to do is go into your Google Drive. As you can see, I'm already in my Google Drive. So I'm going to click on New. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says More. And then I'm going to scroll down to where it says Google Drives. Click that. It'll open an untitled drawing. And the first thing you'd like want to do is you're going to want to click on renaming the slide. I'm going to put how to use Google Drawing. And you just click out of that. And there you have your title. Now, Google Drawing has a number of different features that you can use to draw lines, shapes, you can add pictures, text, much like any of the other Google applications that you're used to. So I'm going to show you a few of those. First thing is line. Click on there. You have line, arrow, elbow connector, curve connector, curve, polyline, and scribble. I'm just going to click on your basic line. And if you hold your cursor down, you have yourself a straight line. Another one would be the arrow. Okay. You also have a number of different shapes. If you hold this down, you can see all the different shapes that you can use. I'm going to use the circle or the oval. Hold your cursor down. And there you have a circle. You can see that it's light blue in the center, you can come up here to fill your color, and you can change that to any color you'd like. Let's go with the red. And you click out of that, and you have a red. And you also notice, I can click on this, and I can move this just about anywhere on the drop. Some other shapes are your arrows. I'm going to go with the up arrow. There you go. Notice how it's red. I can always change that particular one. Let's make that a yellow arrow. Okay, we'll click off. So those are some of your different shapes. You can also use the text box, much like you do in Google Docs. And you make yourself a little box. So we have your text box, and then you can also insert images. And you have two options. You can do that here, and I'm going to show you this one first. You click on the image, and it will open up your, your files. I'm going to choose one from Google Drive. And then I find my pictures for teaching. This one right here. And then just select. It takes a few moments, and there you are. And again, you can move that picture anywhere onto the drawing. You can also hold the side where you have the two arrows, and you can size your your picture and put it anywhere on your drawing. The other way to get an image is to go here under Tools, or go under Research, and you'll notice a little toolbar came up, Research. I'm going to look under Images, and I'm going to type in Google. And there you have a number of pictures that all have the Google logo on it. 
And I'm going to choose this one right here. And I'm going to move it. I can just move it right over to my document. And then if I don't want that anymore, I'll just click out of it. And again, I can move this anywhere. Now notice that when I use the research toolbar, it actually cites where the um, image came from. So that's always useful, uh, citing your information, whether it be um, from a website or from an image. It's always a good idea to cite your work. Um, you can also, the teacher can add comments. And I can just go like this. And send that comment to a student or students. And they can always respond back. So these are just some basic tricks or tips that you can use to set up your Google Drawings. Like I said, you can do it with... Um, math, science, language arts, just about anything. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. If you have any further questions, you can get a hold of me at Andrew Jackson Elementary School, room 703.